Alright guys, so today I'm going to be sharing with you my latest yard sale haul. Most of this stuff, um, as stated, is going to be from yard sales, but as always, there is sometimes a little bit of auction stuff mixed in. So the past couple of weeks yard selling, there have been a lot of rainy days and some weeks not so great as others so unfortunately I haven't been getting like a ton of footage or anything like that uh, but I'm trying it's just been kind of crappy the past couple of days uh, but last week Eric and I actually found quite a number of good things so that's what we are aiming for. So let's just get started. The first thing that I have to share is this vintage Norcrest Bluebird um, watering can figure. So these Norcrest Bluebirds are highly collectible. People love these guys. I personally had never seen the ones on the watering can, so I was so excited. That's Amelia. Eric went to get groceries, so if you hear her that in the background, <laughs> I am so sorry, Amelia. I have to get this video recorded. Um, oh, babies, it's okay, honey. You're all right. I had never seen the watering can one, so I, I knew as soon as I saw it to pick it up. I paid $1 for this piece. There are two issues with it, but even still, there's only two listed, and it is a harder one to come by. And there is a little chippy on the back of this bird's wing. And then there's a hairline crack on the handle. But I still think it would display beautifully. Paid $1 for this guy. And I have it listed as a buy it now for $89.99 piece I picked up was this really cute piece. These are actually salt and pepper shakers, the Santa and Mrs. Claus heads, and then they sit in this entire piece that is a napkin holder. So this didn't have its label anymore. I kind of thought maybe it was Holt Howard when I saw it, but it's actually by Commodore, so I was wrong. But even still, super duper cute. I had to get it. I had never again seen this piece before. I did pay $4 for this. Again, this one also has a couple issues with some paint loss. And the Santa Claus salt and pepper shaker does have a crack on it. Uh, but again, if you're just using to display, I still think this is a really cute piece. So like I said, I paid $4 for this one and I have it listed as a buy it now for $39.99. You saw a little clip in my last video. I had gotten a tote full of rainbow high dolls. I haven't listed any of those yet. I'm still kind of deciding whether or not to just hold on to them um, and list them in the future in hopes that maybe they're like they'll be the monster high doll come a couple of years from now, or if I want to list them currently. But at the same sale, I found this baggie full of Betty spaghetti dolls. And these were from 1997, I wanna say. I paid a dollar for the entire bag. There's all sorts of pieces in there, heads, clothing, shoes, you name it. So a dollar for the bag. And I listed it all together on auction with a starting price of $39.99. At one yard sale, we found, I should say Eric found, cause he found them first. I was over at another sale, but two Laurel Birch cat purses. So this first one is like a cross body style bag. It has the cats on both sides. This little fob has like a little mirror on the strap and paid three dollars for this one and i have it listed as a buy it now for 23 dollars 99 also they had this one here again another laurel birch this one was a shoulder bag also with the little mirror type fob and this one actually already sold to a subscriber, Arlene. So thank you so much, Arlene, for your purchase. This is being shipped out today. Um, this sold for $23.99 as well. So hopefully you love your new bag. Here's an Avon piece I had never seen before. I never came across this one. This is the Mrs. Claus's Kitchen Surprise 
scratch and sniff calendar. It is from 1983. Um, this is in the original cardboard, but it has been used. Um, this is what it looks like. It's like a little fold out, kind of like a pop up as well. And under each flap, when you count down the days, you open the flap and there is a little image in there and every image is a scratch and sniff and they smell so good. These are still very, very, very highly fragranced considering it's from 1983. It's amazing. And like I said, I never seen this one before. So when I saw it, I just grabbed it because we all know how good the, um, the Avon mouse advent calendar is. So I took this, I'm pretty sure I paid a dollar to $2 for it. And I listed it as a buy it now for $39 and 99 cents. This piece actually came from an auction. Um, I had won like a couple flamingo pieces at one point. I just sold a flamingo butter dish for like $50. Um, so people do collect these vintage ceramic flamingos. This one is just marked Japan and it's a toothbrush holder. So it's got four slots here on the top. Um, again, this just came like I was winning like trays full of flamingos at one point. Um, the toothbrush holder I listed on auction with a starting price of $19.99. This next item is actually a bread loaf squishy. So it's one of those like squishy type toys. But the reason that I picked this one up is because it is a San X item, which is like Sanrio and San X that kind of go together with the little characters. This one is the Rylakuma. I'm probably pronouncing that wrong. Um, it's from 2018. Here is the label that says San X, just in case you ever come across anything like this. Um, sometimes these things can be collectible as far as Sanrio, San X, those little anime kind of cartoon characters. I paid a dollar for this squishy and I listed it on auction with a starting price of $19.99. All right, at one yard sale, Eric and I got like a ton of Christmas ornaments. Um, very funny, like the yard sale we were at was the lady who owns this like small business pet store that we shop at uh, for Amelia and we shopped it there for my last dog as well. Um, and anyway, I don't know if it was her yard sale or a family of hers yard sale, but she was there and all of these ornaments were there. And I know for a fact they were probably originally sold in her shop at one point. We took all of them that were there and there are no tags or anything on them. So we're not entirely sure who they're made by, but we're thinking they're Department 56 just based off of the look of them but we're still not entirely sure. So the first one is this little reindeer. He's got the cutest little whimsical legs and he's holding a sign that says Noel. All of the ornaments were just 25 cents a piece. So I think we bought all of them that had that whimsical kind of vibe to them. Um, and there are multiples of most of these. So this one here, we listed as a buy it now for $15.99 and I have quite a few of those. The next two, there was just one of each so I lotted them up but they're these two cute frogs with these dangly legs. One's holding like a Christmas ball and the other one a present. So I listed these as the lot for a buy it now of $34.99. I only had one of this guy, which looks like this. He's wearing shoes. So cute. A lot of these remind me of Patience Brewster. Again, I don't know if that's who they are, but those were just the vibes I'm getting looking at them. This one here I have listed for a buy it now of $19.99. I only have one of this really cute bird. She's got an umbrella in one hand and some books in the other. Um, this one here I have listed as a buy it now for $24.99. 
same with this next one. I only have one of this bird and she's got some feathers and holding a dog. And this one I also have as a buy it now for $24.99. I have three of this chicken and she's holding like a tray of maybe sweets and a dog in one hand. So you can imagine these being in like a little pet store. Uh, this one here I have listed as a buy it now, also $24.99. And I have quite a few of these cats. Um, I have this gray, gray colored one and it's wearing these little elf shoes, the cutest little jingle bell hat. Um, I have these listed as a buy it now for $19.99. And then lastly, I have a couple of these, and they're the same cat, but they're white. And I have these listed, same price, buy it now, $19.99, and I did already sell one of those. I got these at the same yard sale. I found the Vintage Avon calendar. These are also Vintage Avon uh, Muppet Babies, and these are little pins, so it's Miss Piggy and Kermit, and they're on these cute packagings that look like a record. These are from 1988. I listed these together for a buy it now of $19.99. And I think I paid one to two dollars a piece on those. This next item came from an auction. It's this absolutely gorgeous inlaid wooden music box. And this here um, plays four different songs and the really neat thing is you can see down inside of it when it's playing and the keys are moving and everything like that it's absolutely gorgeous these music boxes can sell for hundreds of dollars um people look for the amount of um songs that are on them and that type of thing so we won this at an auction for 33 dollars um, and I have this listed on auction with a starting price of $399. So I don't know if I'll get that much for mine. There is some little cosmetic issues on some parts of the wood. So that might be a factor for some people. But we're going to see. I saw other ones selling for even more than that. So we're just going to take a chance. And like I said, I only paid $33 dollars for it so i have high hopes though i found this brand new fisher price veggie tales um nativity set this was from 2001 i believe so it is getting back there a ways some veggie tales stuff can sell pretty decently um this here i did pay six dollars for at a yard sale and i listed it as a buy it now for 49 dollars and 99 cents this item came from an auction. This is a Kurt Adler Bubble and Bones. It's like an animated type thing. He puts his arm down into the pumpkin where you put some bubble solution and raises it and bubbles come out. I already sold this once before, so when it came up at an auction, I knew to pick it up because I sold my last one. But unfortunately, with electronics, you just don't know if they work so you kind of have to take a gamble on them when you're picking them up that's why i don't like to pay a whole lot for electronics because i've gotten burned quite a few times with electronic electronical stuff uh, whether that's a plug-in or battery operated so this here we only paid a dollar for he does work but his arm sometimes gets stuck in the up position eric isn't entirely sure how to fix it um so we're just kind of selling it as as it is but it is a desirable piece and they typically do sell for okay money um this here i have listed as a buy it now for 29 dollars 99 i think there's only one other one listed and there's obviously works and i think they have theirs listed for like close to 70 dollars so it is a good one so <laughs> i have been reorganizing down here where I keep like all of my inventory and things like that. I've been cleaning off my shelves and just organizing, going through stuff and things like that. And I have been finding stuff on my shelves that is no longer listed. So I'm not quite sure what's going on there, but I have quite a few things that are no longer 
in my store even though they're still on my shelf and haven't been sold yet. So I found these. These are Department 56 Glitterville Halloween ornaments. I had sold every single one of these that I had, but I had two on the shelf that hadn't sold yet and they were not in my listings. So I went ahead and relisted these. These here I have listed as a buy it now for $22.99 a piece. So that was like one thing that I found that somehow just wasn't in my listings anymore. At this at a yard sale, I paid $5 for this. This is a Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer and the little Island of the Misfit Toys doll. So this is new in the box. It is by Jemmy. Um, and does it have a year on it? It's from 2008. Uh, people love Jemmy branded stuff. People love Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer stuff. And I feel like the Island of the Misfit Toys things are a little more harder to come by and a little more desirable. So I picked this up for $5 and I listed it on auction with a starting price of $79.99. There's currently not one listed. That's what the last one sold for and I think it was quite a few years ago. So we'll see. There was no way to test this one because it's still on its original packaging. So I can't get to the battery compartment, um, which is unfortunate, but it should work with new batteries. Um, Eric won this at an auction. This is a vintage Atari um, TV antenna switch box and switch box adapter uh, from 1982. So this here, I think he paid, it was on a tray of some stuff, and I think he paid $5 for it, but it came with some other things. And he listed this as a buy it now for $39.99. Um, also won this at an auction. This is a vintage wicker purse with these gorgeous Lucite handles. I absolutely loved this. I thought it was so pretty. Um, it's got kind of like that hinged design and that's what the inside looks like it's got a couple of um like markings in there uh, but it says handmade in british hong kong so this here won for a dollar at the auction and i listed this on auction with a starting price of 39 dollars and 99 cents in one of my last hauls, you saw that I had listed one of my Sharon Baron Bears. It sold. Um, it sold for like a hundred something. My last bear sold for $126.50. So I decided to list another one. So this is another one that I have. It's the same size as the last one, but a different color. This one has a lighter color to it. Um, it also has a little teddy bear necklace, and this is a Sharon Baron teddy bear. I paid $25 for this. I paid $25 for my last one, and I listed this one again on auction with a starting price of $99.99. So he's got a lot of watchers as well, and I think obviously he will go. All right, Eric and I got these two large rabbits with lids. This one here does glow crazy under black light. Um, it says patent March 1886 on the bottom and then it does have the Imperial Glass logo. Um, so I just assumed it was Imperial Glass. There was someone that messaged me. I guess, you know, they are very like highly into collecting um, Imperial Glass and stuff like that. And they actually told me that um, this was actually by Summit Glass, so, you know, I had no idea, but it's an amazing piece, and we paid $7.50 for this, and I have it listed on auction with a starting price of $124.99. That is around what the last one sold for, and I don't think there's any currently listed. And the man also had this one, same exact rabbit, except it's like a very dark carnival glass. So he had $10 a piece on these, but he said if we bought both of them, that he would only charge $7.50 a piece for them. 
So we ended up taking both. And this one here I have listed on auction with a starting price of $59.99. I found um, two baggies of Old World Christmas ornaments. The baggies were 10 cents a piece. I couldn't believe it. I mean, where do you go at a yard sale and find Christmas ornaments for 10 cents a piece? And being old world Christmas at that. So these two were in a baggie that had some ones with birds on. I didn't get those ones listed yet, but they will be listed soon. So I listed these two Santa Claus um, ones on auction with a starting price of $12.00. And 99 cents and they do have a bid currently. I picked up these refrigerator magnets at a yard sale. I like picking up magnets at times. People do collect older magnets and I liked these. These were from 1989. They were Halloween themed so there was a jack-o-lantern. We have a witch. She was my favorite and they're pretty big too. Um, this one is a cat and then we have a glittery ghost so i paid a dollar for all of them i listed them all together um, on auction with a starting price of 19 dollars 99 i found this oil and vinegar set um, i have seen people post about this brand this maker before on some of the ebay facebook groups so i knew when i saw it i knew right away what it was and that i needed to pick it up uh, but these are by someone named michael lambert and i'll show you the bottom so you can see his signature but they all have that whimsical look to them so this is an oil and vinegar set. They have cork stoppers. It's a little cruet set. I paid just $2 for this set at a yard sale. I was so excited. I currently have these on auction with a starting price of $119.99. I didn't see any of this color currently listed and they do sell for that much. So if I don't get a bid while on auction, I do think they will go as a buy it now at some point. I got this blossom bucket little snowman candle votive holder. I like picking up blossom bucket. I will tell you as soon as I list a blossom bucket item, it gets so many watchers. It's just insane. But then no one actually buys it when it's on auction. And I think a lot of those watchers are overseas um, buyers. So I do believe they like to collect these blossom bucket pieces. So I do pick them up and they do sell. Um, so it comes with a little glass votive holder and you know, you stick your candle in there. So this one here is by someone named B. Lloyd. So it is signed there. And Blossom Bucket has a certain look to it. Like once you find a couple of pieces and you get accustomed to seeing it, you'll recognize it right away. Here I paid $1 for and I listed it on auction with a starting price of $22.99. I got a jewelry set for $3. This is all by Trafari. So it came with a pair of earrings and everything matches. So there's an earring, there is a bracelet that looks like this, and then also a matching necklace that I have all twisted up in the box. Okay, there we go. So it's still a little bit twisted, but you get the gist. So it all matches. I paid $3 for that set and I have it listed on auction with a starting price of $22.99. Uh, next item, I'm just gonna pop up a picture because it's a huge lot of Furbies. Uh, Furbies do sell um, and Eric found a bunch of Furbies at a yard sale. I think he paid $3 a piece on the Furbies the one that was still in the box, I think might have been $5, but it was a whole big lot of them. And we have them listed on auction with a starting price of $124.99. Eric tested every single one, was freaking out the entire time because he dislikes Furbies, <laughs> but they all work. I did list one of my old rubber face Santa Claus dolls. 
Um, this one here did have a date on the bottom. Someone put December 1978, but he's still really, really clean. So that's always nice because a lot of the times when you find these old Santa Claus dolls, they're pretty dingy. So this one's pretty nice. Um, I listed this as a buy it now for $59.99. I got this Tokidoki purse at a yard sale. It is a cross body purse. I paid $1 for it. And I have this listed as a buy it now for $19.99. Another flamingo piece. This one is a double sided vase. And this one is by Maddox of California. It's signed on the bottom. So this came on trays of the flamingo stuff that I won at the auction. This piece here I have is a buy it now for $39.99. At one yard sale we picked up just a couple pieces of pottery, the pieces that spoke to me. Uh, the first one is a row pottery crock with a Santa Claus image on it, salt glaze, and it is marked here on the back. This one here I think we paid, I want to say $5 for and I have it listed as a buy it now for $39.99. Also at that yard sale, I did pick up this Beaumont Brothers Pottery Snowman. Um, the Beaumont Brothers would be marked BBP. So Beaumont Brothers Pottery. So I've sold this one before in the past. Again, I want to say, was it five, four? three, four, five dollars for this. And I have it listed as a buy it now for $29.99. Here's another set of the Old World Christmas ornaments. I paid, I still have these in the bag, 10 cents for this baggie. And these have angels on. So they're all kind of like um, rectangular shape. And there are five ornaments in the bag. I listed them as the lot. Um, I paid 10 cents for them and listed them as a buy it now for $29.99. I picked up this beautiful lamp. Um, this is by Thomas Picconi. And I know it might be hard to tell, but these are actually dragonflies on here. And it has that stained glass kind of Tiffany style look to it. He paid $5 for this, and we have it listed as a buy it now for $59.99. All right, so that is pretty much everything for this haul. I do have three other things to share with you. These things are not listed. Uh, the first thing was a Hello Kitty Tamagotchi. I paid $3 for this at a yard sale. These just came out not that long ago. But this is another kind of like toy item I plan on just sticking in a tote for a couple of years and hoping that it goes up in value. So that's why I picked that up. I do that sometimes when I find toys, um, even if they're not new. If I think that if they're not worth a lot right now, but they have the potential to be in a couple of years, I just kind of squirrel them away. That's just the mind of a reseller. Uh, we also picked up this vintage blow mold. This is plastic um, Christmas candle. We're going to potentially put this in an antique booth. We still haven't heard back um, from the antique mall. So I think we might put in somewhere else as well, just because who knows how long it's gonna be being on a wait list. You just really have no idea how long um, it'll be, so got that for that because it will happen eventually someday and then the piece de resistance the one reason i went to this one sale first and this is like the um it's good and bad at the same time when people post their yard sale advertisements on facebook marketplace sometimes they'll post pictures of their setup and things like that and it's nice because you get an idea of what they have. So it's like, if you don't really see anything, you're kind of like, eh, I don't know if I'm gonna go to that yard sale. Or if you see something, there's always in the back of your mind, oh my gosh, someone might have messaged them and it's already sold. So I might be wasting my entire time even going there. And it maybe not isn't even there. You know what I mean? So I uh, went there first. I was the first one there and they didn't have the garage door opened yet, so I'm just like, Eric and I are waiting in the car, waiting for them to open the garage door. So in the meantime, this other car, 
like drives by but the garage door's not open but we knew they were probably just circling around so the guy comes out to move his truck out of the garage and the other car's coming and I'm like oh my gosh what if they're here for the same thing like I have to be I have to be first and so like um he got out of his truck and I'm like halfway up the driveway and I'm not the type that's just gonna like fly into the garage like I stopped I asked him is it okay if I come in and look at your yard sale? And he said, yes, I got permission. I wasn't rude. I'm never rude when it comes to things like this. So um, obviously I went in and I saw it sitting on the table and I'm like, ah, yeah, my day is made. <laughs> so this is a vintage Kamar or Kamar little devil guy. So stinking cute. He still had his tags attached. He's this little plastic devil. Uh, absolutely adorable now this guy is worth about a hundred dollars typically when you see these Kamar devils they're kind of they look like the little the pixie knee huggers that type of devil look I had never seen this one so when I looked him up I was like oh my gosh because I knew his worth but at the same time I am trying to start collecting devils I know it's really weird and very weird to some people and it, granted I even think it's a little weird but you will not believe how expensive it is to collect anything with a devil on it it's like you have to be incredibly rich because devil stuff is so expensive so I got him for 25 cents guys I can sell him for a hundred but I'm keeping him because I'm trying to start my collection and it's just like pretty much a non-existent collection. I think I have two other devils and that is it. I never find anything with devils on it. So I had to get him. Look at how cute he is. Oh, I love it. So yep, he's going to be going into my very small collection. So I'm so excited about that. My day was pretty much made after that because that's why I wanted to go to that yard sale first. So I'm so thankful that I was able to nab him. Uh, but that is everything for this haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you thought down in the comments and I will see you next time.